Sure, Pluto isn't the biggest planet, or technically a planet at all, but that doesn't mean we don't have some interesting news for you guys. Pluto was originally ranked as the solar system's ninth planet. Due to its extremely far distance, virtually any surface photos of the dwarf planet can be seen by using ground-based telescopes. Pluto remained a mystery for many years following its discovery. It was the subject of a 2006 NASA launch of the New Horizons spacecraft. After more than nine years, New Horizons arrived at Pluto and became the first spacecraft to pass by the remote planet. It returned breathtaking photographs of the dwarf planet, which showed startling surface details. Today, the probe has traveled more than 7.5 billion kilometers, which is 50 astronomical units from Earth. However, astronomers are still reviewing the data from the Pluto flyby, but recent studies have suggested that Pluto is alive and isn't as calm as previously thought. Stay till the end to know why heat is emerging from Pluto. Welcome to our channel, where we provide you with facts related to. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you may never miss any of our updates. However, the prospect of life on Pluto is intriguing and merits additional investigation. Pluto, which was once thought of as a planet, is now categorized by the government as a dwarf planet. But this doesn't make Pluto any less fascinating or significant. Recent discoveries by the New Horizons probe have shown something unusual going on with Pluto. So what does this all mean? It is still too early to say for sure, but it's possible that there could be some form of life on Pluto. This is undoubtedly an intriguing possibility and one that warrants further exploration. Pluto is an icy planet with a frozen core comprised of carbon monoxide and nitrogen ice. It was the first thing ever found in the Kuiper Belt, and until now is the biggest body there that is known to exist. However, the legitimacy of Pluto's celestial designation started to be challenged in the 1990s as other asteroids of equivalent sizes were found in that area. Pluto was downgraded to a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union in 2006, but even that can't make it any less of a focus for human exploration. Some unexpected and astonishing things have been revealed by New Horizons pictures that the entire universe has never witnessed on any other planet. Since the New Horizons spacecraft can only send one to two kilobits of data per second, with a total data volume of approximately 6.25 terabytes, it flew past Pluto five years ago, providing humanity with its first up-close picture of the far-off world. Although it took 15 months to collect all the data from its travels with Pluto and Charon, the wait was undoubtedly worthwhile because Pluto's surface seemed to be remarkably youthful. Based on the richness of its rocks, Pluto is anticipated to have sustained modest levels of radiogenic heating for a significant amount. Other scientific discoveries made by New Horizons include evidence of an ancient ocean beneath Charon's surface and strange water ice hills floating in frozen nitrogen on Pluto. A 2018 study hypothesizes that Pluto's surface might be covered with a thin asphalt coating. Pluto's surface, despite being so far from the sun, may contain the building blocks for life. On Pluto's surface, there are many rough volcanoes that are elevated to different altitudes. Surprisingly, compared to the rest of the planet, there aren't any asteroid or planetary destructive impacts near the area, and there is no sign of plate tectonic activity, which is essential for the formation of mountains on Earth. Factors suggested that a recent geologic disturbance, maybe a volcanic explosion that happened during the previous two billion years, caused this surface to form. According to the findings, both endogenic and exogenic processes have led to significant and continuous resurfacing of Pluto's surface. But that's not all. There is still much more to go with the radius of two billion miles. Two billion years may seem like a long time, but it is not that long on the cosmic time scale and can be considered the latest event. Describing volcanic features of Pluto for years, planetary scientists have been perplexed by two peaks that rise above the dwarf planet's surface. The first is a mountainous feature known as Wright Mons. It is about 150 kilometers wide, protrudes extends about 5 kilometers just above the ground, and features a nearly 50 kilometer wide core depression. The second peak, known as Picard Mons, rises about nearly seven kilometers and is about 225 kilometers wide. 
You might be astonished to learn that Pluto's overall volume is comparable to that of Hawaii's Moana Lua, one of the planet's largest volcanoes, despite Pluto's diameter being only one-sixth that of the Earth. These enormous surface structures were discovered in July 2015 by the New Horizons spacecraft as it passed the planet. They are located near the southwest edge of the Sputnik Planitia Ice Sheet. This is the lighter region to Pluto's left-renowned heart-shaped feature. After carefully examining the images taken by the New Horizons spacecraft, researchers hypothesized that the formation of such a terrain must have been fueled by numerous eruption sites located near each other. This sheet is distinguished by an ancient impact basin. It has wrinkles and elevations that resemble creases above a plain sailing layer of ice and is over 1,000 kilometers wide. There are a number of volcanic domes in this area, most of which tend to combine to form a larger dome. A thorough investigation also reveals that an interfacial substance in this area is primarily water ice and not nitrogen or methane ice, which is typically found in younger parts of the planetary surface, further solidifying the possibility of cryovolcanic activity. However, in order for volcanoes to be active, there needs to be a steady source of heat to fuel the outbursts, which mostly result from nuclear decay taking place inside the Earth. In some instances, the tug of war brought on by the gravity gradient with large nearby objects can also produce this heat. Regarding the position of New Horizons and what we can anticipate in the future as of August 2022, it is still unknown whether Pluto's cryovolcanism is still active or if the exotic ice volcanoes have gone dormant. Additionally, if it is still active, it would increase the chances of discovering a liquid ocean and who knows, perhaps even life. New Horizons is 53 astronomical units from the Sun. Since the probe is almost outside the Kuiper Belt, it is unlikely that it will encounter anything that can be investigated up close at this time. After the Voyager probe stop communicating with one another, which will happen in a few years, New Horizons will be the sole spacecraft operating near the boundary of the solar system. By extending the mission, scientists can learn a great deal from this understudied region. During the voyage, there is also a potential that New Horizons will recreate the iconic image of the pale blue dot, the radioisotope thermoelectric generator, RTG, that powers New Horizons produced about 250 watts when it was launched. But as plutonium-238 decays and the thermal couple gradually deteriorates, this power gradually decreases. At the time of the Arakoth flight, the New Horizons RTG produced about 190 watts, but by 2032, this figure will fall to 150 watts, which is the minimum power necessary to maintain radio contact with New Horizons. However, it's possible that the specialist of this mission can extend its service life. Lowe's volcanism is primarily caused by that phenomenon, but both of these hypotheses don't fit for Pluto because neither of its neighbors are powerful enough to produce enough tidal and gravitational forces to warm the planet's interior, nor is there enough rocky material in the planet's core to produce heat through radioactivity. In addition, Pluto has an average surface temperature of almost minus 240 degrees Celsius and rock-like halos around it. So, considering everything, where does this heat come from? Even other icy bodies in the solar system, like Saturn's moon Enceladus and Jupiter's moon Europa, are said to have these certain types of oceans. Enceladus has additionally demonstrated periodic cryovolcanism by renewing one of Saturn's rings and ejecting frozen debris into space. This is the only scenario that makes sense for the dwarf planet. Remember that the New Frontiers only performed a flyover and spent one day in the area, making it difficult to determine whether cryovolcanism is still active on Pluto or if the tropical ice volcanoes are asleep. If it is still active, however, it would increase the likelihood of discovering a liquid. However, only Pluto has large clusters of frozen lava stretched out in a plane rising to renew an icy landscape seen in the rest of the solar system. Do tell us your views in the comments section. If you have reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care.